Hello guys, welcome back. Good to see you everybody. How are you? How is everything going? Tell me. Hello. Hello, Hello good evening. Good evening. Good to see you, Mario. How are you? I'm fine. Is this your first time, Mario? It's because I don't remember that picture. <laughs> no, uh, yesterday was my first uh, my first class. Yeah, my first class. Oh, really? Yesterday? Yesterday. Okay, nice to meet you. I, I didn't see you. Did, did you participate? I don't remember. No, the I, <clears throat> I out of the class, uh, 34 minutes the, um, después de haber comenzado. Okay, after start. After, after start. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we have we has a, a a problem. Okay, you had a problem. Okay, nice to meet you, Mario. Hey, um, okay, let's get started. Right, remember that we have a task. Right, guys. Hello, Febeiro. Is this your first time, Febeiro? I don't remember if you were here. Hello, teacher Araceli. Okay, sorry, Araceli. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the first time. Es la primera vez que veo el nombre Faveiro Rivera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, good to see you. Let's see you, Rose and Elsie. Good to see you, ladies. So remember, we have this task, right? We have the presentation of the weirdest job. So did you do the presentation, guys? What about you, Rose? Did you do it? Yes. You did it? Okay. What about you, Elsie? Mm -hmm. No? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I am trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do something. The ones that were not here, maybe you can prepare something very small because we're going to have, a, yesterday we watched a video about the weirdest jobs, right? So I asked yes. your partners that they have to yes. present, right? I prepared the presentation. Mm -hmm. So... And Okay, let me know if you are ready, Elsie, with your partner, or are you going to present alone? Alone, teacher, because yesterday I finished the class after. <laughs> Earlier, let's say, before the class ending. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let me know if you want to be the first one. Do you want to present right now or can you present? Mm -hmm. Are you ready, guys? Estamos listos? Yes? Yes. Okay. I, so, I shared my... Your screen. Okay, perfect. And okay. then Rose. Okay, Rose. You can start, Elsie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can? Please. Okay. Uh, okay. You you see my screen? Yes, sure. <laughs> okay. Um so I choose the professional elephant dresser. <laughs> I uh, I am talking about the this this job and uh, for example um in in he makes dresser for elephants he could the cloth in steel cloth he measure the cloth his job is very important for the for the elephant. <laughs> Without he, the elephant don't have pressure. 
He is from India, I suppose. Um, he works in the factory, even though the, he can work in house. I, this is my first presentation. Okay, perfect, Elsie. I loved your presentation, right, about elephants. I remember in the video you say something, you said something about the elephants, right? Yes. Okay, that's um, uh, uh, This presentation, mm -hmm. I made, I made uh, Dumbo. Oh, no. Me hizo recordar. Oh, it, it reminds me. ¿Me recuerda? It reminds me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dumbo. <laughs> yes, right. There, there is an elephant. Dumbo yes. or something like that. Yes, I remember the elephant. <laughs> Dumbo. Very sweet. A little. Um, uh, sí, so sweet. Yeah, oh, there was a movie, right? Yes. I saw the movie when I was um, child. Um, I, I um, yeah, eight years old. Okay, you were year, eight <laughs> years old. Okay, yes, it's a wonderful cartoon if I'm not bad. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect, okay. Elsie. It was a great presentation. Just remember. That when we use, for example, he can works, we don't add the letter S, right? We just say he can work, sin I say without S. Ah, when I use can. When you are using I, models, yes, like can. Yes. You, you can't use the letter S in the verb. Thank you, teacher. You okay. have a right one. Thank you, Elsie. So let's listen now to Rose. Are you ready, Rose? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Good uh, worker. Dude Walker Joe. Edward Pen Rocket worked more than 15 years as a good worker for the Peabody Hotel in Memphis until her retire. His job was to accompany some dukes so that they could drink and of the fountain in the May garden on the complex. It all started when in 1933, the hotel manager decided to drop the off after a weekend of hunting in Arkansas. A bellboy volunteer to take care of them and thus become the duke master. Every day at 11 in the morning, at Animal World Down, a red carpet light Hollywood star. Until they raised the Italian marble for time, the return ceremony is a uh, 17. What do, do, what do they do exactly? They exactly build the dukes that have been staying at the hotel. They feed the dukes, they shower the dukes, they take care of them, they carve them. Where do the job? Peabody Hotel in Memphis. Thank you for my singing presentation. That's so cute, Rose. Yeah, that picture reminds me of some dogs that they have to wear some shoes. They are so cute, right? Yes, I loved your presentation, Rose. Okay, thank you, Rose, for sharing. Hay algunos patos que incluso les ponen zapatos, right? As Rose presented, that's right. Some people don't want to hurt the dog's feet. Okay, thank you, Rose. Okay, just as a reminder, eh, solo recordemos that the word 
la palabra, for example, um, let me see. For example, the word dogs, having the word dogs, we have to say in that way, right? Dogs. In the uh, daycare, right? Only that one row. So, tengamos cuidado con la palabra dogs. Okay? It was great. Okay, so is there any other participant or volunteer guys who wants to share the presentation? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Henry. Let me know if you can share your screen. Podemos compartir. Can you share? Yes. Okay, let's do it. No me sale, teacher. Lo estamos viendo. We can see it, Henry. Ah, ok. Sí. Yeah. Ok. And, and what every, um, yo, yo escogí un, una presentación de los trabajos duros que realizan en Estados Unidos. En um, World work of ugly concrete and making and that bags day installing and marble stone mm -hmm. um, aquí es la fotografía es que realizan eh, aplicación de concrete mm -hmm. en pavement y y aquí transcribí lo que decía verdad um, que decía, you can see working and here in the construction. Eh, are there our con, con los compatriotas? Ellos eh, realizan eh, ese trabajo, ¿verdad? En, en aplicación de concrete. Eh, también, eh, yo lo puse aquí en español. <ríe> eh, la instalación de piedra mar, uh, marble en en making the marble stone eh, include que es el pegamento eh, making da unión que es sujetan con las uniones el marble y we have here das utilizan herramientas que es la espátula para la aplicación y también un teistón el nivel utilizan un nivel para poner recto eh, lo puse en español aquí también y en inglés eh, aparte de eso dice we come en this presentation uh, show of the world that We carry en darle básico. Eh, yo, eh, en lo personal, soy un asesor de venta en Amazon Vidri. Eh, nosotros eh, en We Say Construction Material en Tay Equipment en Kitchen en el, um, Older y otros. Eh, los trabajos que, que yo realizo, ¿verdad? Es, eh, I work in Paul Department. Eh, where is the, there are? Eh, number one is women poor products. Eh, number two, eh, tanks pump, tanque de presión. Eh, number three, and eh, takes, eh, take, They times water here, que son calentadores de agua. Eh, Pressure tank, que son los tanques de presión. Y number five, en eh, ISO installation. Tenemos servicio de installation. Eh, finish. Thanks.
Thank you, Harry. I didn't know <laughs> you were, you had bad experience, right? That is a big experience to know about the equipment, the tools, as you said, installation. So that is a big job, right? Okay, thank you, Henry, for sharing. And also from people from the United States, right? They do a lot of things there. Okay, thank you, Henry. Okay, let's see another person who wants to share. Alguien más? Somebody you, else? Henry. To you, Henry? Somebody else, guys? Remember, this is time for you to practice English, right? Okay, teacher, I'm going to try. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay, uh, good evening. I'm going to try to uh, talk, talk about the EHS overview. Um, and EHS uh, management, um, we try to protect and promote uh, the health and safety of employees, students, visitors, environment. Based by shallow administration and financial associates, associate, by uh, Shan Sailor, Component and Safety Auxiliary Service. Um, we um, and uh, uh, administration try to protect the health and safety to employees. Uh, about our EHX program, can I can uh, tell you um, we are report incident and investigation. Uh, we can uh, uh, make a laboratory safety um, test ergonomic communication and evaluation to, uh, about hazards. Um, we can uh, investigation about um, chemical hazards. Uh, we can um, um, entrenamos uh, about uh, the protective personal protective equipment and protective uh, respiratory protection and uh, anything. Uh, también uh, we can um, we are um, capacity uh, training about uh, emergency planning. Uh, about uh, of the uh, emergency plan, uh, we can speak, uh, talk about evacuation procedures, location and primary, second and secondary uh, exit, location of pool station, location of the signaling site, emergency fund numbers, numbers, uh, procedures for uh, accounting for the personnel, procedures for evacuation, and the order about the communication hazard or hazard communication. Eh, cada, eh, periódicamente, excuse me, my Spanglish, about, eh, de manera periódica, we are uh, training uh, our, uh, our employees about the, the hazard of the work. Um, about the chemicals hazard, uh, we're going to try, we go to um, explain about the data, uh, safety data sheet. Um, another, another, okay. And uh, finish about this. Thank you. Okay, as a summary, Mario, your main responsibilities, it is like to protect, right? Like, the, let's say the employee's environment. Yeah. Okay, perfect, Mario. Thank you so much for sharing the what you do right in your work. Okay, so is there, I shared with you some of the words that uh, you maybe have doubts, but for the presentation, it was well explained. So is there any other guys who wants to share, for example, the job, a weird job that we watched the video yesterday? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? No? Okay. So guys, let's go then with the presentation that we have for today, the lesson. Okay, remember that we are studying like basic topics, right? Maybe your English, for some of you, maybe this 
these topics. You study this, but this is going to be a review for you too. Okay, so we have uh, the colors, right? So we have the color white. That means that you are uh, that you're a person with hope. We have uh, blue. That for some people that means, for example, trustful, a person that people can trust, a friendly person that it is brown, black, powerful, green, jealous, right? Maybe yellow, happy, orange, confident, a person that when she or he is speaking. Uh, is very uh, confident with his words. Red, exciting, and pink, loving, purple, creative, great, sad. Okay, which words describe yourself? In your case, uh, let's see, Kenny, which words, words describe your, which colors, right? Personality. Which colors, let's say, which colors? In your case, hey, Kenny, which colors describe your personality? Hmm, Kenny? Case, in my case, in the yellow, I am hey. happy. Mm -hmm. It's brown. Mm -hmm. um, in green, the jealous. <laughs> okay, any other? I was just kidding, sorry. <laughs> sometimes. Uh, sometimes, yes. <laughs> okay, what about, uh, for example, creative? Are you a purple person? Yes, in the work. In the work, right. You have to be creative. Okay, thank you, Kenny. What about you? Uh, let's see, Oscar Aguirre, tell me what, or which colors, what colors describe your personality? My personal opinion, good evening, teacher, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, my personal, my favorite color is black because the, co the black color is mm -hmm. power mm. for me, right? Yeah, I, that, that's right, right? It is powerful. That's it. Only black. What about a uh, what about uh, orange? Don't you think that you're confident? I don't like I don't like uh, the orange. I prefer red. You prefer red. You are excited, right, for most of the things. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Oscar. So, what about uh, you? Uh, let's see, Elsie. Tell me about you. Which colors, right? Defined. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm. I prefer pink. You're loving yes. and caring. Yes. I I prefer pink and orange. And orange. I, I am. Very good, confident. <laughs> Very confident. Okay, yeah, right. Yes. Some people are confident. Some others, they I, lack. Mm -hmm. I can keep a secret. <laughs> oh, oh, you can keep a secret. Oh, so yes. that means that you are truthful. You are truthful, right? Confident. Uh, it is the confident? person that it is secure. It is segura de sí mismo. Confident. And oh. truthful, that is the, the meaning that you are looking, right? That you can keep secret. Okay. Okay, perfect, Elsie. Okay, and pink, blue, and orange. <laughs> okay, blue and orange, right? And pink, yes. right, as you said. Okay, yes. that's good, Thank that's you. good, right? Okay, to you. What about uh, you, um, Rivera? Rivera, what about you, Rivera? I'm just reading the, the name you have there on the screen. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No problem. Okay, tell me what colors or which colors describe your personality? I am not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Green. Green? Are you jealous? <laughs> <laughs> um, brown. Okay, brown. Okay, brown. Mm -hmm. Yellow. 
and yellow. Hello. Okay. Yeah. So you are happy, you are yellow, so you are friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's great, right? We have a, I think most of us are jealous, right? La mayoría de nosotros, we are jealous with most of the things. We are humans, right? There are some that are not, but most of us are jealous, right? Okay, this is part of the vocabulary, right, that we have. We have hopeful that it is the person that, it is very optimistic, right? We have hope. And truthful, it is a person that you trust. Se puede confiar in that person, truthful. And friendly, a person that everybody likes. Powerful, as Oscar said, a person that maybe it, is a, it can be a leader too, right? Jealous, maybe, and confident, excited, and so on. Do you have questions about, for example, a word, guys? Any questions about the words that we have there? Or we are okay then. Okay, let's move on then with this um, dialogue, right? This conversation. We are going to listen and then you're going to try to repeat the, uh, the conversation. So let's listen and then you are going to mimic, right? The, the conversation. Unit 3, page 16, exercise 2, conversation. It's really pretty. Part A, listen and practice. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. How much are these gloves? The gray ones? They're $18. Oh, that's not bad. Do they come in black? No, sorry. Just gray. Okay. Um, how much is that scarf? Which one? The blue and orange one? No, the yellow one. Let's see. It's $24.95. It's really pretty. I'll take it. Okay, let's listen to some of your rights. So, can you be... Okay, Henry, can you be the sales clerk? And uh, let's listen to Rose. Can you be the customer, Rose? Okay. 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 Let's go. Uh, sales clerk. Sales clerk. Yeah, sales clerk. Okay. Uh, Kate, I hate you. Yes, thank you. How much are these gloves? Uh, that great one. Very. Um, one waiting. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. Oh, that's not bad. Do they come in black? In black? No, sorry, you're great. Okay. Um, how much is that scrap? Uh, which one? Which one? Uh, that's blue. And orange one. No, the yellow one. Lacy X um, 24 It's really pretty. I'll tell it. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Rose and Henry. Is there a, a word, guys, that you don't know, for example, with pronunciation or a meaning of a word? No? Okay. So let's move on. This is going to be like a unit three. Page. Okay, this is going to be the grammar section. Uh, we are describing here, uh, we are using how much in singular and in plurals, right? So we have, for example, how much is, how much, remember, it is very with money, right? How much, or maybe with uncountable things, how much is, right? This, when we use this, it is for one object. How much is this scarf? Cuanto cuesta this scarf? Esta bufanda. Or maybe you can say this one. Para omitir el scarf, this one, you can say that. So in the case, in the case that we are having something close, we're going to use this. But if it is far, we're going to use that. Okay, entonces, si tenemos, por ejemplo, un objeto cerca, 
que solo sea uno, vamos a utilizar this. Este o esta. Si tenemos algo que está lejos, far, que sea singular, vamos a utilizar that. Eso o esa. We can use also that one para reemplazar la palabra. También, so we can have which one, a cuál, para identificarla, right? Which one. Entonces, él responde a la María, a la que ella María, when you say that, the yellow one. In that case, cuando tenemos un objeto, podemos responder con it's, it's, right? It's 24 and the money, right? In the case, en el caso que tengamos more objects, we are going to use these, these. Estos, these gloves. No nos olvidemos de la S porque eso nos va a indicar la palabra en plural, right? Los guantes, right? En el caso que esté lejos, in the case that it is far, we're going to use those, those gloves. Y si es plural, vamos a utilizar which ones, es in, that, in this case. The gray one, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, cuáles. Cuáles, we can say that in Spanish, right? La, la, las que son grises, we can say the, the gray ones. And the, for the price, you have to answer they are or they are $18, price of the money. So do you have questions about, for example, these, that, any question? Please, uh, can you repeat what, uh, the different sound of this and thus? Okay, in the pronunciation, you mean? Yes. Okay, so when you have, for example, this, the pronunciation, if, you, if we are talking about pronunciation, we can say these, right? The, the final N, the final uh, word, the final sound, it is with S, this. Yes, S, this. this. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you are talking in plural, these, you are going to say that, like with if you have the letter Z, right? These. This. No, these. Z, that, that sound. You this. Have to say. No. This. This, yeah, that one. These. This. Yeah, when you are saying the, the word in plural, right? Mm -hmm. okay. That is going to be the difference. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, any other question, guys? Any other? No? Yes, uh, Rose. Mm -hmm. Cuando utilizamos el one and ones. Ok, en el caso, in the case of that one, or one, cuando tenemos un objeto, right? En el caso de ones, cuando tenemos varios objetos. Ok, which ones, cuáles, which ones, pero bueno, refiriéndonos a varios objetos. Then, eh, como estamos hablando de varios objetos, you have to say the gray ones. Estamos dando una especificación. Las grises, como que digamos, like that. That is like, we can say the meaning, right? Of ones in one. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Can you write the pronunciation of, of that and thus? And that and thus. Oh. Okay, we have that, that. Okay, there is a sound that it is like almost the same, like that, that. So and then you have the other one that is those, those. Be like those, like that, those, those. In, in pronunciation, right? The symbols are not these ones, but it is like close to that one. Okay, so there you have, guys. No more questions. If not, I can proceed with the next topic. No questions, guys? No? Okay, good. Okay, perfect. So let's practice, right? So can you help me? Let's see, Rivera, please, with the first part. Remember, we have to use the words that we studied previously. Okay, we have the example. 
excuse me, how much are those jeans, right? She's saying, right? Maestra Lejos está utilizando those, right? What about which? ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? Which? One. One back. Ones. The, which ones? That's right, porque estamos hablando de varios, right? Which ones? Do you mean? Do you mean? Mm -hmm. What's the idea? What is the word missing here? Mm -hmm. Which one, guys? Go back to the lesson. Let's go back. Do you mean those? Do you mean those? Do you mean this? No, because it is far, right? It is, it is supposed that they are talking far. Oh, no, but she's close, right? That's right. Yes, that's right. She is close. The, 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 this person, right? Vemos la posición y cómo está la persona. Está respondiendo letter B, right? Do you mean, y cómo está cerca? Do you mean, as this postcard said, right? Do you mean these ones? Okay, no, the light blue. What is the word that we have to use here? The purple. Mm -hmm. No, the light blue. I think in letter B, uh, do you mean purple? Because the answer is, is direct color. Está dirigiéndose al color. Okay, mm, the light blue, this one, Elsie? This one? The, no, the light blue. In mm -hmm. this case is, oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 no, the light blue? One. one. Once, right? Once. Once. Yeah, uh -huh. están hablando en plural, okay. right? Now we have the, 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 the answer. What is the answer? What do we have to use? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. How much are? Okay, the, ella le está respondiendo. She's answering, right? Ella le está respondiendo. ¿De qué forma do we have to answer when we are talking about prices? Mm -hmm. What is the way? So let's go back. Let's go back. You see the answer? Oh, they. they are. Yes, oh, they right. Are. Yes, they, right. We're answering the prices. They are right. They are 59. Okay, let's see the next one. How much is, what is the word in that case? How much is that? That right, because it is far, está lejos, right? Perfect, thank you. How much is that backpack? Y él le dice, which, which one? Which, which which one? one? Mm. The red? Mm -hmm. The red one? The red one, yes. The red one. It's $36.99, but... Mm -hmm. But... It's $36.99. This, this, this green. Mm -hmm. This is, we can say this is right or it's too right. It's or this is can be. What about the next one? It's only $22.25. Mm 
What is the word we have to use? There is. No. Mm -hmm. it, it is giving it, a price. It. It, right. It. Yes, we have the, the, that explanation here. Tenemos esa explicación here, right? We are giving prices. It's right there. Okay, so do you have questions, guys? Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, remember, recordemos que tenemos singulars and plurals. Depending on the situation, you are going to use even this, or these, or those, or that. In caso de los prices, prices, it's or there, if it is plural or singular. Okay, so let's uh, complete this part so you can practice it with your partner, right? We have the, the expressions, that's cheap, that's reasonable, that's okay, not bad, and that's expensive. Okay, so we have the, the example. How much are these sunglasses? How much are these sunglasses? Let's say they cost $200. The pink ones, they are $86.99. That's expensive. Okay, I'm going to choose two persons and you are going to create this conversation right now. Okay, let's have a look. Mario, can you be letter A? And uh, let's see, Oscar, can you be letter B, please? You are going to talk about, let's say, about this cell phone. The cell phone, let's say, it costs like um, $1,000. It's an apple. <laughs> it's an apple, I meaning it's an old one. Okay, go ahead. Let's recreate the conversation you have there. Try to use the expressions. And let's see. Okay, let's do it, please. Mario, okay. you are Oscar. A and... Uh -huh. Oscar, how much, the, uh, how much are these sunglasses? Oh, uh, you have to, you have to, okay, I'm sorry. You have to take this word and use this one for self. Ah, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, Oscar, how much are these cell phones? Which one? Uh, the black, the black one. Uh, let me tell you that it's very expensive, the price of the cell phone, man. Why? Because it's the, the last, the last, how do you say, it's the last, the last model. For that reason, the price, it is $2,000. <laughs> tell me about, tell me, tell me about the character, the, about the cell phone. I'm not remember. Uh, to be because it's very expensive. Okay. Okay. I'm not remember too because I can pay, I can pay only uh, uh, $100. Oscar, that cell phone is an iPhone. <laughs> it, it, it could be. <laughs> Okay. I can pay only one hundred dollars. Okay, let me let me show you our plan to pay, right? <laughs> okay, I can pay. I can pay uh, uh, only ten dollars for month. Okay, let me let, let me tell you some advice. If you want to give some cell phone, you try to ask Papa Noel. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, <laughs> thank you. Sana Bye. for Sana, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, there you have, right? Just remember, guys, that we are talking about one cell phone. So if it is one cell phone, you have to say, how much is that cell phone, right? That cell phone. Because we are just saying one thing, right? And mm -hmm. then... You said yeah. which one? Because we are talking about one object. Teacher, okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Tell me, Oscar. Usually, when I mean about the price, 
a, a price things uh, we use we use much but mm -hmm. what is the difference between much and many oh mm -hmm. okay for example when you have much the word that follows uh, usually it is an uncountable word well it is like that it is an uncountable word for example how much money do you earn the opposite is with the other one that it is how many that you have a countable noun. For example, how many books do you have? La diferencia es que una es para cosas incontables y la otra es para cosas que sean contables, right? That is the main difference when you say many. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's time for you to uh, go to the breakout rooms, right? And you are going to create Page a dialogue. 18. So one person is going to be a sales clerk and the other one is going to be the customer. But in this case, I will ask you that you present a picture of the objects you are selling, right? Send objects. You are selling as this almost like the presentation that Mario and Oscar had before. So you are going to decide who is going to be the sales clerk and the customer. Okay, and later on you are going to present that information. Don't forget to add pictures, right? So we can see what you are talking about. Okay, guys. So we're going to work in the breakout rooms and we're going to do this role play. Questions about the activity? Repeat please the instruction. Okay, what you have to do is that you have to choose, for example, who is going to be the sales clerk. Almost the activity that we did previously with Oscar and you, Mario and decide who is going to be the customer in, in the group, right? Uh, you have to use, for example, what we have studied this and that in all the, the grammar section that we studied. And also, I want you to share a picture, right, of the objects that the sales clerk is selling. Here they have like these ones, but I want you to include the ones you are selling. Okay, y vamos okay. a incluir imágenes, right, de los objetos que ustedes va, van a vender, right? It is like when you go to a store, to the Siman, and we don't buy anything, <laughs> like you are asking for prices, and at the end, you don't know if you are going to buy. Okay, basically okay, that. Okay, I am, I am customer. You are the sales clerk. You are <laughs> going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your partner, Mario. Let's see your partner. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you can prepare the conversation. I'm going to give you five minutes and then you present, okay? So let's go to the breakout rooms and create this conversation. See?
todo, falta que nos deje la teacher aquí hablando. Ya. Excuse me, excuse me. Don't worry. Excuse me. Did you finish, guys? Let me know, please. Yeah, did you finish? Okay, let's uh, leave uh, this information for tomorrow because obviously we don't have time to finish, right? So thank you so much for coming, guys. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. okay night, night. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Thank you to you too. Tomorrow we continue, guys. Okay, get ready with the with the role plays. Okay, have a good night, guys. Bye. Terminamos. Ya nos vamos. Sí, ya, María, ya. Ok, bye. Bye, see you. Good evening. Good evening, see you. Bye, see you. Bye. You can leave the class, right? Uh, uh, yo porque tengo que quedar unos minutos más. Okay. Eh, teacher, Dígame, Henry. una consulta. Uh -huh. eh, los viernes vamos a tener clase. Fíjese que sí, vamos a tener clase, pero solo en este módulo, porque recuerde que se acercan las vacaciones. Dígame. Entonces, para cubrir esos días, vamos a tener las clases eh, este viernes, este viernes, esta semana y la siguiente después de vacaciones. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y después tres días más y terminamos. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Good, Have a good night. night. You're welcome. See you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Tomorrow.